it's not finished, but uh, I can put a kayak on it now and haul it to the lake or the river. And uh, it's, uh, as I mentioned before, what I did was I took my router with a 1-8 round over bit and I rounded off both the inside and the outside edge and I rounded off these holes here just so they'd be smooth and they wouldn't scratch the scratch the kayak and I did that on the front end and the back end so these tubes are a half inch short of eight foot and there's three inch PVC and I'm about to pull the kayak onto it uh, to see how it sits. Well, as with a lot of things, uh, I should have done this a long time ago because she's really sitting solid on that, on those PVC bunks. So I'm really happy with that. Also, I checked and uh, state law says that you shall not extend more than four feet off of a trailer past the bumper or basically the taillights. And I measured and I'm 30 inches, so I'm legal there. And I've got what I consider pretty good support right there it's not even touching so that means it's touching a little bit further in which is fine because that's where the foam support is inside the boat uh, now the next thing I'm going to do is put a winch on it and the more i am been thinking about it I've got some more of this uh, super strut and I can build this up one layer of super strut, bolt it together, and then I can, I'm can i clearing my fenders and I can set a toolbox on either side with some sort of a cushion on the inside and that'll allow for a guide when I'm pulling the boat up onto the bunks. So I still don't like that bumper up there. I've got this one here and I'll I'll see if I can figure out a way to do it. The thing is it just the angle's not right uh, for the keel. So uh, I'll play with that. Just wonder what some of you guys have done. Uh, but of course now the next thing I need to do is get all the paint off of the trailer and scratch up the bunks and my rod holder. Oh, I was going to show you my rod holder. These are two extra rocket launchers that came with uh, ice chests that I bought from Austin Canoe and Kayak. And that, that ice chest will actually fit right here behind the rocket launcher, leaving me access to the hatch or it will sit right here on top of the hatch and not interfere with these. So what I did was I took a piece of uh, inch and a quarter, made a sleeve, drove it down in there uh, pretty tight, and then I, this thing just slipped. You can see perfect, uh, perfect fit there. And so I just slipped it down over the PVC sleeve that I put in and then I put a one of the screws in it that it came with so uh, this is all new to me I'm not really you know I'm playing this figuring it out as, as I go along so uh, of course that rocket launcher is not my design it's probably three or four designs but I'm, uh, I'm happy with it for now. And hopefully in the next week or so, I'll be able to give this baby her virgin maiden voyage. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, 
of course that's my motor mount hang my trolling motor on it and uh, I installed the first part of the Yak Gear uh, control panel and uh, still trying to figure out some things on that uh, I am going to put a battery in here and connect it and then my trolling motor I will probably put a trolling motor plug somewhere back here um, and so my trolling motor is just going to hang here and then it'll uh, um, it'll plug in right there uh, wanted to ask you guys what uh, I know some of y'all have talked about using these little um, chair chair knobs, chair stoppers. Let me see if I've got them. Sorry about my workbench. I've been working. So these things here is what some of you guys have been talking about putting on the end of your of your seat uh, rails to hold it in place real tight. And I don't know if that's supposed to hold it in place real tight on the ends or in here. But right now you can see, uh, I'm going to put a lanyard on the seat. But right now you can see that I've got, uh, I've got it wrapped around on the front edge. I don't have it wrapped around on the back edge. Uh, so anyway, oh my goodness. Well, it's cleanup time. So... You guys have a good night.